Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, I'm gonna be going over my monthly favorites for the month of May. So if you're interested in this video to see which were my favorite products, keep on watching and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's start off by this KVD Contour Shade and Light Palette. This is such a beautiful palette. I use this mainly as bronzers. I use mostly this one and the middle one. I like to use them individually or combine them. This one right here in the corner is a bit too dark. Both of the shades right here, the brining powder and the contour shade, they are a little bit too dark for me at this time, but I will definitely use them during the summer when I am a little bit more tan. But this four shades right here are the ones that I've been loving so much this month. I love how beautiful they apply to your skin, how they really give me that really beautiful bronze look. And both of the setting powders, it does really brighten up my under eyes. They do not cake underneath your eyes. Overall, I have been really enjoying this palette i do have to mention that they are a little bit powdery so when i dab into the bronzing shades it does have quite a bit of fallout so i do try to be very gentle so if you're a person that doesn't like a lot of fallout in your palettes you will be a bit disappointed in this one but the quality is great i'm so glad that i have this palette again in my collection this is my second palette i did purchase the original when kat von d came out with this palette but it was so old that i needed to throw it away and i repurchased this one i'm so happy that i have it again and i just love the formula and the products in this palette next up it will be my hourglass val translucent setting powder i purchased the full size finally this is such a beautiful powder i love Love the formula i do have combination skin so my t-zone is always a little bit oilier but with this powder my skin just looks amazing i love the natural look and glow that it gives to it without looking too greasy i love the formula i love how my skin looks at the end of the day and during the day it's worth every penny and i've been using this powder non-stop for this month Let's talk about blush and something that I've been really enjoying is this Love Spring Artist Couture Palette. This is a blush palette. It is very new to my collection. I just purchased it during the Sephora VIB Spring Sale and I have been loving this formula so much. The blushes in here are so pigmented, so be very gentle when you try to apply them to your cheeks. A little goes a long way. This blush palette has two satin blushes and it will be this orangey one and the pink one and the one in the middle is a shimmery blush you can use it as a highlighter or on its own i'm actually using this metal blush all over my cheeks today it is very glowy and very beautiful i love using it on its own or always adding a little bit of highlight just like I did today. So my cheeks today are very glowy, but I love the look that it gives me. I love that the shimmery blush has enough pigmentation to use it on its own or as a highlighter. You can definitely dab into it very gently and it will look great on your skin. I have loved the formula, the quality of this palette. This is actually my first product from Artist Couture and I have been really enjoying it. I'm thinking about getting the lighter palette. This is the volume two. There is a volume one and I'm really thinking about getting it just because I love this formula so much and the blushes last on your skin for such a long time. If you're looking for a good blush palette, this one by Artist Couture has a great formula pigmentation, blendability, and it lasts on your cheeks the entire day. And lastly, let's talk about my two favorite eyeshadow palettes for this month. The first one will be by Natasha Denona, and it will be her bronze palette. This is such a beautiful palette. I know it has a lot of warm tones, but you can basically use this palette any time of the year. That's how I feel. I've been using this palette so much this month. I actually used it today to create this amazing halo bronzy eye look. I love it. I love the formula, the blendability. I like that you can only use one or two shades and you are good to go. Such a beautiful blendable formula. I've been using this palette almost every day during the week when I really don't want to think about too much about my eye look. I just put one or two shades like I mentioned before, blend it out and I am good to go. Such a beautiful palette to use any day of the week. Such a great work palette. So if you work in an office, this is just a great neutral palette you can use 
any time of the year. The formula is amazing and I have been enjoying this palette so much this month. I really don't want to put it away because it's just my go-to palette and it has such a beautiful color theme. I just love it overall. And lastly, it will be my Morphe Lisa Frank eyeshadow palette. Let's start off by the packaging. It's super cute. I love this tiger. This palette was given to me actually back in December by my sister and it's back on stock. So if you wanted to get it and it was sold out back in December, it's back in stock at Ulta. Let me show you the colors in this palette. It's such a beautiful, colorful eyeshadow palette. When I look at this palette, I want to create amazing, colorful eye looks. I want to think outside the box and that's what I like about this palette. It makes me think outside the box. The formula in this palette is pretty good. I was very surprised. The mattes are very blendable, pigmented and the shimmers in here are very soft and buttery. You can definitely notice the difference between a shimmer and a matte in this palette. Overall, I have been enjoying this palette a lot. I have enjoyed every single eye look I have created and it is just a fun palette to have in your collection. All right, everyone, this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my monthly favorites for the month of May. Let me know in the comments below what are your favorite products for this month and if you enjoyed my video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and you like my content, please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.